Log Talk Radio. Hey guys, this is Those Guys with your host Matt Marrero, along with the other host Tristan Walter. And normally I ask you uh, what we're doing on the show today, but honestly, I don't even know. Like I don't. I'm I'd so be surprised confused, if you Tristan. Did. Yes, and and you are too. Uh, we're, today we're doing root search, which is a. By the way, first off, uh, it's the first of July. Right as this is coming out, I just want to say to everyone, uh, happy Halloween in July. That's why right. we've, we've been, yes, Tristan, did you <laughs> did you not get me a Halloween in July present? Did did I not get the memo? Did Tristan. did Larry in accounting not send me the memo? I'm gonna fucking kill him. Where is he? Come here, you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny because like to hire Larry in accounting, that would mean I'd have to have money. To not only give him, but to give you. Like I didn't like, know we had an accounting put, department. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Like I would have to put money to an accounting department. They'd be like, where's the money? I'd be like, oh, oh, that's right. We needed money, didn't we? I just put all the money to hire you guys. I don't know about anything else. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so, yes, yeah, so we're doing Halloween in July this month, which we've done, uh, we did last year as well however this uh this month this year we're taking it to the next level our you know those guys play uh youtube channels going all out with it and of course our podcasts are gonna be the same minus stuff like doctor who wednesdays or star wars wednesdays we're still gonna keep those but other than that little tiny bit trickling through the rest of it is gonna try to be uh horror related in some form or another like podcasts you know, let's plays all that stuff. Now, and this kind of falls into the summer or other category. Well, because this is <laughs> horror. It's but it's also terrible. Oh, it's yeah. a weird mix. Ooh. So it's a weird. <laughs> well, because yeah, no, it was. Well, because it's a very, it's a very strange. Because by the way, okay, so let's be real when it comes to root search. Because uh, I think there's been a lot of backlash about it on the internet over the last 25 years that it's been out. Right. I don't think that it is as bad as everyone says it is, on at least the first 20 minutes. Once you get to the second half, that's when everyone starts making more sense uh, online. Uh, yeah. And more importantly, I really think that it depends on how much you paid to see this. True. Right? Where, where you and I got it very, very cheap. Because, again, yeah. 25 years later. But – right. Paying a full price VHS or Laserdisc. To be fair, a Laserdisc version would have looked great. But still, <laughs> a full price VHS yeah. or Laserdisc. And if anyone's thinking, like, wait, full price, like, what do you, because, you know, maybe some of our younger fans. Imagine 50 bucks, 40 to 50, because subbed would be more expensive because, first off, there was no dub for this. But subbed would be more expensive because of the fact that they assume, oh, we're going to sell less because we're appealing to the sub-only crowd. And, you know, even though they started making sub-onlys because, you know, to try to combat those fan sub VHS tapes at the time, still they right. thought you would get less people. Like, like seriously, let's be real. You're going to get less people, at least at the time, by, and even now, arguably, buying Dragon Ball Z subbed on VHS versus Dragon Ball Z dubbed. Right? So that's why the – or, you know, you can think of any other, you know, um, series where that happened too. But, of course, what that would make is that would make subbed and, you know, ed, uh, and dubbed VHS tapes separately because, of course, you didn't put the two on the same – tape that's ludicrous so how could you even do that uh so basically you imagine paying 50 bucks just for this for anyone who hasn't seen root search go check it out it's terrible uh i mean i'm happy you're here but still uh, but still check it out it's and again i say the word terrible but not terrible for like a five dollar price like five to ten bucks i don't think it's terrible i think it's adequate right like i think it gets the job done and that job is to be an anime yeah. OVA, um, right? <laughs> that was its job, right? Because it fulfilled right. it. It Not nailed it. Not a good it. one. Not a exactly shit <laughs> one, but it, yeah, an anime. It's it, it's there. Yeah, it exists. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. <laughs> but once you put the fifty dollar price on it, oh, oh the no. blood, <laughs> more blood than in this OVA being yes. spilt. Yes. Yeah. Rightly so. <laughs> 
Rightly so, yes, because it's um, – and I don't blame U.S. Manga Corps for releasing it for that much money. You have no. to recoup your costs, right? Yeah. You know, I, but, and I don't even blame the writers or anyone like that because it's like I, – I mean, granted, we don't have much info on this from what I've been reading, so I don't think – it was like I, I don't know if it was super rushed. I don't know if right. it was just meant to be late night fodder, right? Yeah. Because there's some because there's some OVAs at the time where you know them being late night, like you know late night, um, kind of just made to be on late night, right? In yeah. Japan, not in America. They right. were done really well, and then we sometimes, occasionally, will stumble upon one. a Garzi's wing. Well, we'll stumble upon a Garzi's. W- yeah, yeah, I'll put or, it that way. On a scale to one to Garzi's wing, this is in the middle. It's not Garzi's wing, yeah. but it ain't good either. <laughs> yes, and and it, I have to admit oh. though, in the first twenty minutes, I was invested. Yeah, yeah, because I was kind of looking at it like, okay, out in space, other spaceships crew is dead. Now we have our crew coming on to see what the fuck happened. All right, I, I can I can roll with this. It's and just then it's just really you know funny. the alien but, threatening to kill them. I'm like, all right, you know standard space procedure, alien life mm. it always has to try and kill you. All right, on course. And then it gets then it gets weirder at at points. There are just points where it like flares up and like, well, I didn't expect to see that on screen, but all right, that happened. Yeah, no, like. No, you're just sitting there and you're like, oh, no, the alien's trying to kill them. You know, and all of a sudden you just hear, I am a messenger of God. Well, what? That, that's where things got weird, right? Or it's just like, you know, it's like, oh, I've seen our future. Yes, but in that way? You couldn't just show why a is, standard house? Why is the future naked? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> why is the future <laughs> <laughs> do, do you understand? It was if, fucking weird. I don't <sighs> think. Do you understand? Okay, first off, the I mean, second, late night father. I get the it. Second, the why? second you get a wife and kids, uh-huh. I am going to corrupt your children. I'm going to corrupt them, and I will make sure that they will think it is appropriate through money or just through general conditioning over the years to think that it is appropriate that when you die. We are going to put on your tombstone. Why is the future so naked? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Tristan Walter, well, 1992 one... to 2075. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, human 2017. Technology, I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, then I don't have to convince the wife and kids. Uh, I just have to convince your mom and dad. But um, oh my God. might be harder to convince them. Um, but anyway, oh, I... <laughs> I just, yeah, no, I mean, look, I get it. The idea was to be more surreal because she's envisioning this future and yada, yada. Okay, right? That's why it was, like, naked. It was meant to be very pure LSD-type stuff. I get it. But it's just, I, you know what's funny? I don't even think that was the weirdest part. I think just the being saying, I am a messenger of God, because, like, here's the thing, mm-hmm. right? If someone says, well, you know, it's just, it's taking forms – playing off people's fears or what people right. are imagining, you know, whatever. Is that tentacle monster God? Uh, uh, no, hmm. but, like, or the giant brain, whatever, like, is that God? Or are they supposed to represent? Because, like, every other yeah. person or every other be- being, you're like, oh, that's his dead friend in the war. Oh, that's, right. you know, so-and-so's dead ex-girlfriend or ex-wife. Oh, right. that's, um... Right, but for the her, the guy he cheated it and was, took all his money and credibility. Always, yeah, like, her yeah. crew was terrible. I mean, yeah, I think it was just trying to show, like, well, not the whole crew. Remember that one guy? He actually missed his friend. He just died in the war. Yeah, well, no, I don't think it was a war. I think they were poachers. I think they were hunting stuff, oh. and then all of a sudden, the oh. giant, like, the mother comes out and fucking eats him, and he's like, "Nope, get the fuck out!" And his friends like, "So you're just gonna leave me for dead?" Yeah, pretty much. I mean, oh, he didn't put it that way. Enough. He felt terrible about it. It's like, but I would have died too. It's like, yeah, but you could have helped him if you liked him that much. Just fair saying. point. Fair point. I think they were just trying to go for people. Like, it's very interesting because, in my opinion, I think maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong here. 
I feel like when I see horror movies, usually you don't do that. It's usually the reverse. You try to make them nice. It's not that you – like nice in a way where you're like – you're not necessarily rooting for the monster to kill them. You know what I mean? Like right, in yeah. some case, like I feel like – okay. I feel like in like a movie like um, Friday the 13th or Halloween or even in some of the um, – not all, but some of the um, Nightmare on Elm Streets, you – even though you might – end up falling in love with the villain, you're not necessarily cheering them on, or at least you shouldn't be cheering them on to kill that person, right? right? Yeah. So, like, you might, after a few films, go, oh, God, I love Freddy, or Freddy's hilarious. But you don't sit there, and you shouldn't anyway, sit there and go, oh, yeah, kill those kids, because they're all dicks. You know what I mean? Was, like, Was that pointed at me, Matt? No, I think actually, that was but when I said it out... <laughs> No, actually, it wasn't. But when I said it out loud, I was like, shit, I think I pointed the finger at Tristan by accident. No. Um, but, but but seriously, though, right? Like, you can laugh right. at some of Freddy's, you know, puns or whatever he says, but, like, they don't usually make all of the characters. Maybe, like, one. Right. They don't make all of the characters unlikable to the point that even if you like, even if you have no bias towards teenagers, you sit there and go... Man, I want Freddy to murder all of them. Like, no. Right. Right? Yeah, no. Same thing, yeah. So, like, you end up looking like the bad guy if you're cheering for, like, Jason to impale people. Right? Yeah. Um, I mean, granted, granted, yes, yeah, sometimes you would make... Like, I know Friday the 13th, you, some of the kids would be a bit more um, into the uh, debauchery kind of scene. Right? A little, little bit more teenagers with uh, attitude. But still, I don't know. I feel like there's a difference between, like, teenagers... Drinking, having sex, and and having you know, and doing drugs, versus I left my friend for dead. I basically stole from one of my business partners, and he died. Essentially, a very space Scrooge is what I'll call it. And uh, and what was it? The other guy who was like, yeah, no, my ex girlfriend died. Right, I drove her or to... ex wife. Yeah. yeah, like those drove three are death, a lot quote, different. Unquote. Yeah, those three are a, are a lot different than teenagers having sex. Like, the yeah. two can't really be compared. Um, a little, a little I guess different that's, here. That's supposed to be the movie saying, like, I don't know, almost justifying the aliens, saying, oh, look, you know, they're all horrible. It's like they deserve to die. It's like, I mean, I'd say they deserve to be punished, but, like, uh, outright gruesomely murdering all of them like you did. I mean, uh,. I feel like Scott, uh, actually, well, he was, I don't know what happened to Scott, the blonde-haired guy who, mm-hmm. his wife, he drove to death. Yeah. Like, he just melted into alien goo, so I don't know if the alien ate him, or, like, just, he, he was in his body, or or what, but... I'm going to say something Norman with his that friend, I don't think... he, he got sent out in space and imploded, <laughs> and went all over yeah. space, and then the yeah, doctor I'm say just got impaled. <laughs> And yeah, the, the oh god, that was that was a very interesting way to start off the uh Oh yeah, that was the movie. Was, that was pretty gruesome. Uh, I was, yeah, I forgot about that cuz I it's funny. I remembered the ex-girlfriend being naked and uh, and I'm watching this in the living room and um you know, I live with family, so it was kind of funny because mm-hmm. literally um I I end up like you know, having to turn the movie off for a bit and you're like, and you're trying to talk to me about it and I'm like, "Yeah, I stopped watching because of boobs." And you were like, what? <laughs> right, you were so what? confused. No, actually, I was watching Doctor Who for the other podcast that we do. Right. So I literally said, I'm watching Doctor Who because boobs. And you were like, what? what? <laughs> and I had to explain to you. I'm like, I'm like I, don't, I don't remember what I said exactly, but I think I literally oh. texted you. I think I literally said, Root Search has boobs. Like, I, yeah. Or just I typed I'm Root like, Search. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my but, god. Um, but uh, oh, and and very uh, before I mention something, I want to say that uh, something else. I want to say that um, that you know, very interesting way to start off the movie uh, with the impale- impaling. Forgot about that. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna say something. I don't think anyone has ever said about this OVA. I think mm-hmm. it should have been longer. Yeah. Yeah. Which. Which, I, it sounds crazy to some. I think even to myself, it's like, but Matt, you saw it. And I'm like, I know I did me. I know. But 
it feels incomplete. Like it feels like yeah. it, it feels like this could have if it had done very well. It could have been part one of like uh, three OVAs or two OVAs. Like I don't right. know, maybe maybe I'm wrong here, but I don't. I feel as if that ending didn't feel like I know some some you know OVAs or some uh, you know movies or TV shows or whatever like they have open endings, uh, you know especially in the anime world. But I don't I don't really think that this was meant to be the last one or the only one. Right. Maybe that's just me. Like I feel like there, if this would have done well, they wouldn't have sat there and gone, "No, our creative vision says that that was the end of it." Like there definitely, I mean, to me, seems as if they, there could have been something more to this, or that it could have been longer and things were cut. Yeah, I mean, I would just say longer in the sense maybe you could have fleshed some stuff out a bit more, like a little bit more detail about the alien. Yeah. Like. Like, if they went with the angle, like, oh, people have been experimenting on this alien, and, it, like, that's why it hates humanity, and it's using the god complex to, like, screw with your mind. It's like, I think that would have helped it a bit to just be mm. like, so why is this happening? Right, right. Yeah, um, or at least just, uh, like, an extra five minutes just to talk more, not just about the alien, but I think about the people, too. Not the ones that died, because they're dead, so screw them. But there's people that are alive that I feel like we still know nothing about, really. Which, it's, I don't know, like, because I'm saying, like, it just feels as if, like, we know very, very, very basic stuff. Like, hey, she is scared about her psychic abilities, which, by the way, just... Throwing out there. She has psychic abilities. Psychic abilities. But anyway. <laughs> but I loved it too, by the way. Like, are your psychic abilities acting up again? <laughs> but seriously, I see dead people. Like, um, although yeah. I do enjoy the phrase remembering the future, because I think that's a very interesting way to describe it. Yeah, that was interesting, actually. I like that phrase, because a lot of times when you see visions in shows... It's, they either seem like they're full or like they're fully fleshed out or right. like, oh, no, it's something to come. But in, in a way, because of how fragmented w- it fragmented it was, she's like, it feels like I'm remembering like a vague recollection of yeah. something that hasn't happened yet. I was like, that's actually an interesting concept. So literally, yeah, yeah the first 20 minutes, I was like, whoa, this seems interesting. And right. then just that second half took this nosedive, and I'm just like, yeah. we got to pull the ship back up. Why? Right. There's a giant tentacle monster with his mouth open in the water. <laughs> and I think oh, it's going to swallow the ship. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, what I was going to say, though, is did you notice that there were a lot of – and I, and I don't want to say early because just because this was in 1992 doesn't mean this hadn't happened before in OVAs or in anything else – but did you notice some uh, like a lot of uh, late night fan service that I think today oh, yeah. we you know because today we're like and I know you might be thinking well duh Matt the the naked girl but even more yeah. so than that just a lot of uh, little things here and there that to me I thought oh wow like even pre internet or like pre really good internet um, you know pre Everyone talk about Moe this and Moe that and, oh, you know, this fan service here in every episode or, you know, just like a jiggle here or a bent over person there or a weird camera shot in this area. No, it, it wasn't just her being naked. It was like the tentacle, like just little stuff here and there that I was like, yeah, oh, no, that was so they're weird. really diversifying their fan yeah. service here. Yeah, it's like they're yeah. – it's like this yeah. is this. This is the kind of thing that gives people the heebie-jeebies about, like, watching an anime that haven't before. It's like, so is it going to have that? It's like, no! Why would you think that? It's like, And they explain. It's like, oh. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. No, 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 not all anime is like that. I, I promise. I swear. Well, no, I mean... They're good ones! Well, <laughs> right, of course. Well, it, it's interesting because you you are correct, right? Even though it's wrong for them to assume that every anime will have, like, tentacles or whatever. Yeah. Um, however, yeah, I would argue, and maybe I'm wrong here, there was there was a lot more tentacle-based um, either, like, you know, like, monsters or something like that in older anime. Yeah. And I think that's why it ended up getting that stigma. I'm not right. saying that tentacles don't exist now, right? Like, of course, you have yeah. monsters with tentacles, you know, now, like, duh. You know, video games, yeah. movies, I mean, you know, Cthulhu's always been a thing. 
right? Right. Like and Cthulhu's, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that the monster has tentacles. That's the bad thing. It's how it uses becomes the bad <laughs> part. It's like, right. Yeah. I was, right. Yeah. I, I was the scene. You know, she gets like caught on the leg or something, and I'm like, oh no. I'm like, please don't let this go where I think it's gonna go. And then no, no, Pedro, no. I'm cause... like, oh, thank the, oh, thank, thank whatever, thank everything, thank everything. <laughs> Thank God that was destroyed. <laughs> but I am God. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it. No, no, no. Uh. I think the craziest thing was like, you're actually a demon. And all it does is go, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I pissed myself. I was like, yeah. well, I got to clean this couch. Like, that was just, that was horrifying. I'm watching oh. this in the middle of the day. Light yeah. coming in, right? So it's not dark at all. But just her just like, you're not a God. You're a demon. <laughs> like what the fuck? That was weird. A monster? No, I'm the devil. Uh. <laughs> English English dub confirmed. Funimation picked it up, like they pick up everything, and uh, Vic oh, Manana will be God. Um, oh. I mean, watch FMA. He's been God before. Anyway. Oh uh, no. Do I? <laughs> I don't think he was. Oh. I don't know. I forgot. Anyway, but seriously though, um. Yeah, I, I, I like one of the weirdest look. things with the alien for me was mm-hmm. when they jettisoned it. It's like we have to destroy it, but we don't even know if it killed everyone. No, it's the only thing that could have destroy it. So they jettisoned it out into space, and that's fine. Like, all right, it makes sense. I thought for sure they were gonna like incinerate it or just like shoot it or something. It's like then I just see the capsule flying through space. I'm like, oh, all right. I mean, yeah, you found it in space. You might as well return it there. All right, fine. And then its body just rematerializes on the whatever observation table they had it on. And I'm like, excuse me? Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, I don't know why. Well, you have to, that freaked me out the most. <laughs> Not the most. <laughs> well, but you have like, to, it was one of those yeah. things that just stuck out. And I'm like, how? How? Well, obviously, and, and as you know, Buzz mentioned later, it plays tricks on your mind so it doesn't even really look like that like it only Mm -hmm. looks like that because it can take any form so it's decided i'll just take this one so that's not even its true form technically huh yeah there's a lot like in its true form it could be like Mm -hmm. yeah that was the thing it was like this ova is so vague in some points it's like it's interesting because it it makes you think about it which is like something a good series should do but this isn't well like i don't think mm. that's what they were going for when they made it i don't know well here's the th- no i think that's what they were going <laughs> like, for in the am beginning am i giving like, this too it, much credit <laughs> no i think in earlier <sighs> parts of anything you should always be made to not always but like it's a good way to you know like make you think like earlier right. parts of anything movie to draw TV you in show yeah, ova yes and even in the middle of it, yeah, sure, make us think, make us go like, wait a minute, but that's not, but that might not even be its real form. But once right. the did you end mean it comes, this way or did you mean it that way? Yeah, but once the end comes and it is the end, right? Right. Then and to have them just be like, so we're basically in its body. Let's just see where the world takes us from here. It's just kind of like, well, she had a psychic vision that you guys end up having a kid, so clearly you get out. But can we like <laughs> really? I just see you just see the TARDIS pop in and the doctor like, now let me explain to you why that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, <laughs> that's actually what I had thought when I saw her psychic <laughs> visions and she was like, I've seen the future and I'm like, Time can be rewritten. It's like Time our can de- be rewritten. Like, you know, this is going to be our destiny. We're going to make it out. And like I get it, it's supposed to make the two of them like uh, in a very quick and very odd way it's like oh i love you i love you too it's like we're gonna survive this together then it's like all right okay i I get it but all right yeah it's like you want to sit there and say in you know when people are forced like in death or like you know in in crisis in crises right yeah they'll get together but 
at the same time, though, when she was like, I've yeah. always been waiting for someone like Buzz, and I'm like, well, thankfully, and now I now know that, too. <laughs> yeah, so right? I did not... You didn't mention it in the beginning. Granted, it would have right. been a little off. Well, it would have been a little weird, to be fair. But like, yeah. never mentioned it earlier. And also, weren't you dating Scott? Because I thought she was dating Scott. I mean, I yeah, I I guess that was supposed to be the idea. But the the way like the alien manifests itself to Scott kind of makes him sound like a dirtbag. So he might have just no. been making a pass at her. No, 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 no. Scott is a dick, and I'm happy he's dead. But, but, <laughs> that's still... <laughs> said no nonchalantly. But I still need to... Well, I guess, uh, it's like, what was your point with that? Scott is dead, and I'm happy about it. All right, well, uh, move on then, I guess. <laughs> well, what did you think about the writing? Scott is a dick, and I'm happy he's dead. I don't... What else do we... What about the art design? Well, when he died, he oh. looked like a dick, and I'm happy he's dead. <laughs> no, um, oh. no, but but seriously though, right? But seriously, um, like him touching oh. her hair and the way she kind of talked about him. I don't know, like something about it made it seem like they were gonna be or were a thing, and then and all of a sudden they were like dead. Well, <laughs> yes, of course. That's when the relationship should end. But yeah, and that's when anyone, it ended, and she's she just anyone screamed out, "You son of a bitch!" <laughs> You know, anyone that's listening and they're like, when should I end a relationship? Like, that's when. At the very when least, leave that's you like for default. Dead. Yeah, that's default. Like, do not I mean, take them back. Death might actually just end that for you and not in your favor. So, I mean, right. kind of take that advice take it or leave it. salt, I guess. But <laughs> Yeah, take it or leave it. But uh, death or not, take it or leave it. No, but seriously, I um, No, but I feel like this OVA suffered from some budget concerns. I I feel like there mm. were some budgetary issues. And because you mentioned, oh, why didn't they incinerate it? Putting aside the fact that they're on a ship, but to be fair, it's like in space and it's futuristic, so they could probably make a fire on a ship. But yeah. putting that aside, um, they probably didn't burn it because that would have been fire they would have had to draw. So right. you just put it in the pod, you know, send it out, and then just have it rematerialize. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot cheaper than having to draw fire. Fair enough. So, that's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of things that happen, happen because of the fact that they just really wanted to bring, you know, bring that budget down as yeah. much as they could. You know, but I mean, that's just my take on it. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. I get it, yeah. yeah. I just, I kind of wonder, like... If the if the director of it actually like he was like no this was my vision and now it's done or he was like yeah we really I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do with it but it it's it's a thing so you know I think it's a little mix of column A a little mix of column B you yeah know? um also by the way I want to mention uh, by the way that the um the dub of this dub the sub came out in 92 the original came out right. in 1986 actually so oh. I want to okay, right then. that makes this a lot that makes this uh, a lot more sense for this right yes yes it does <laughs> from yes, the gore yeah. from um, the LSD trips from the from the fan service from down to the music and the animation itself which it's funny yes. I, did enjoy the animation and the music, but in the sense of it had a really big retro feel to it. So like, well, yes, I know. That, and and yeah. it, obviously it was it wasn't retro when it was released. I'm kidding. Right. I'm, I'm, no shit. But um, yeah, I is very interesting because I actually think this has more of like a '70s animation vibe, which is why I think when it came out, like I think a, a lot of it to people felt wrong at the time because it came out in '92, so it was six years late. Which to be fair. Right isn't that bad in terms of animation, right? It's not like I'm right. saying that we're releasing this today. And by the way, not saying yeah. this animation is bad compared to today. But still, I think the style wasn't even... It was 80s, yes, but it really evoked a 70s vibe in me as well. So maybe even in Japan, it was like, okay, like, this feels late. And yeah. then America gets it even later. Yeah. So so there's just this, you know, this. there's just you know, people just sitting back like, well... This was 45 minutes long. This is the animation. 
Um, it is sub only. Not that people don't like subs. I'm sure if it got a right. dub at the time, it would have been terrible. Oh, but, um, yeah, that's what I was anyway. thinking. I'm like, could you imagine a dub for this? Just imagine. Oh, it would have, <laughs> the budget would have been like about maybe about like two burgers and a Coke, I think. That, about, about like that much. <laughs> <laughs> budget would have been shoestring. Oh, Ace. God. How how like how cheap would it have been? Not just a shoestring, a shoestring emporium. They just sell, <laughs> sell shoestrings. That's they get maybe like one guy and one girl to do each you know each voice. The one girl to do you know the girl's voice, and then just one guy, maybe two, maybe one to do the alien, and the one other just to do all the humans. <laughs> that's the that's honestly what I think that they would have done, and he wouldn't have been good. That's the thing, because no. I think you can. I think you can convincingly do a few more voices, right? Like there's voice actors out there that can mask themselves, and you oh, go, yeah. "Wow, really? That's right. you, right?" So I think that you can have one person do like two, three roles. Multiple the problem, parts, of yeah. course, is that it would be a thing where it'd be like, "Hi, I'm this guy. Hi, I'm this guy," and just right. that's all it would have been. <laughs> it would have been, yeah, it would have been really bad. So yeah, I just I was not a fan. That's just what I'll say. I yeah yeah I, like that's I don't know what to what to call this. I I don't. Yeah, that's that's why we have these awkward silences. I think especially the, during this podcast. That's why there's the some awkward only silences. Thing, uh, the only thing that I can think of to say is just this exists. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, that's the thing. Like, it's not even I don't want to condemn this. I no. don't know if I'll completely recommend it, but I do think no. that it's, you know what it is? I think I'll <laughs> no. I will recommend it. But like as a historical like, oh, this happened. Not so much like, oh, this is the best thing ever. Like I'm not giving it a glowing recommendation. But I do think this is what happens when you have a lot of problems with budget. And I know people are like, but Matt, you don't have that on record. This, there was problems with budget. You just, you have to just, <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say that they got the full budget. I'm not saying that the director didn't get his vision in. I'm sure he got a decent amount of it in. But at the right. same time, I feel as if there's, there's a problem. Like, I feel as if there was a problem yeah. when making this. And more importantly, is that um, this is what happens when, you know, it might take a while to, to ha- get something released, especially, by the way, at a time when, you know, anime was very popular, uh, right? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't, this is pre-DBZ, but still, right? Anime, it's not like it was unpopular. People wanted to buy VHS tapes subbed of, you know, different right. anime shows or different OVAs. And being able to say, oh, I got this quick OVA, right? Pretty good deal to some. But paying, like, this is just one of those examples of, like, man, you know, get, being able to buy DVDs now, just like how technology advances and how it's better for all of us, despite, you know, uh, even you and I sometimes going, hey, this VHS is cool, or, you know, me talking about how at the time Laserdisc was better than DVD in some ways, in some. Right. So, like, even <clears throat> though we'll still talk like that, right, at the same time, anyone who tries to go really deep into it that's even like, oh, DVDs ruined media or something like that, it's just like, uh, right, like this is a prime example of how a sub-only VHS tape right. can be a big. Because I think honestly, if this was dubbed, this could have been on Sci-Fi Channel. I'm not saying it would have. Oh. Like I think it could have recouped some losses. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're telling me every anime that's ever appeared on Sci-Fi has been good. Oh hell no, no. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I think with some edits, this could have been on Sci-Fi. Yeah, no. Like I, yeah, I'm not saying that it yeah. could have. I was more reacting to. I could. It could have recovered some losses. I'm like, I. Well, they'd have to pay for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, no. When when something airs on TV, that the they pay, at least in America. They actually yeah. pay um, the right. the license holder. In Japan, it's the reverse, actually. So in Japan, uh, to air this on late night television, they would pay the television station. Right. Funnily enough, so it's the exact opposite. So a company, if they want this to air on late night Japanese TV, they pay them for it. 
where right. in America, Sci-Fi would have paid this company, probably U.S. Manga Corps, because they obviously uh, own the rights to it in English. They would pay them money to air it. So that would be right. a way for U.S. Manga Corps to recoup their losses. Now, I don't have info that says that they come like uh, they didn't make their money back. To be fair, but I just know that, com- like critically, this was a failure. Yeah. Yeah. Like critically yeah. panned. I don't know if commercial failure. To be fair. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but, I feel um, like yeah. I feel like the only way I could recommend actually like watching this would be if you wanted to get together with some friends and watch some <laughs> really bad horror mm-hmm. and just kick back and have fun with it and like yeah. you know, not not to be like too hard on it, but like sit back and laugh. I mean, yeah, come on. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so you look at it as more of a as a, of a group experience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, I I understand what you're coming from. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna wrap things up here. Unless there's anything you really want to say. Do you have I mean, the only it's just, like, now just that ending. That <laughs> ending. Oh, it was terrible. It was so fucking weird. It's like, oh, where are it we? Was. Oh, maybe the alien is giving us a second chance. Well, it doesn't matter because we're together. Walk hand in hand into the glowing light in God knows what. I mean, I think even the girl says, "Is this what hell looks like?" I'm like. I think for you guys, yes. I think it is. I think you hit the nail on the head. I don't think you needed your psychic powers for that one. It's, it's never yeah, like, I don't know are what... they in the alien? Are they dead? Are they, uh, I don't know. No, no, I, I like, do not know. So, like, yeah. Did did you do this to make me think about it? Is, is, like, is that the point? Oh God! All right, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna end this here. This is just terrible. Okay. I don't know what else to say. I honestly <laughs> don't know what else to say. I just want to thank you all for listening in, as always, because especially this one, you guys didn't have to. Uh, but but you all, but you all <laughs> to came be fair, through. Matt, you all. There's a few <laughs> they didn't have to. Right, <laughs> right, right. Guys, way. But um, yeah. So I want to just thank you all. Hope you have. I hope you had a good time. Um, just want to mention, I mentioned earlier that we have our YouTube channel, Those Guys Play, that we're doing Halloween in July on, so you can go check that out, search up Those Guys Play on YouTube. You could also um, go on our main website, which is teacherproduction.net, and even get some merchandise off of our website, teacherproduction.net slash merchandise. We have some t-shirts there from the podcast and from the Let's Play that we've done. Those Guys Play is in different fonts. Also, you can actually check out our eBay, which is uh, slash USR slash Those Guys Radio, and get some merchandise off there as well. And if you want to get updates on our different from podcasts and our Let's Plays, you can go over to our Facebook page, which is Slash Those Guys on the Radio, our Twitter, which is at Those Guys Radio, and our Instagram, which is Slash Those Guys on the Radio. Also want to mention, I don't know how you're listening to our podcast. You could be listening through our Blog Talk Radio account, which is blogtalkradio.com slash Those Guys on the Radio. could be listening to us through uh, iTunes by searching up Those Guys on iTunes, or through our YouTube archives by searching up Those Guys on the Radio on YouTube. Also, we have our Patreon as well. You can donate to and get a bunch of different rewards. We're actually adding even more rewards to that soon, so definitely check that out. Our our Patreon is slash TG Productions, and yeah, you can help keep the lights on. So, I've done it, Tristan. (laughs) I, I, uh, you crying? You can keep the spaceship moving. (laughs) Right? Yeah, keep the spaceship running. Yeah, make sure we don't get any uh, any aliens on the ship. Oh boy. Oh God. All right. So thank you all. (laughs) And uh, say goodnight, Tristan. One of our shortest podcasts ever. Good night, everyone. (laughs)